Hello everybody. Welcome to our today's English classroom. Well, in this class, we'll learn about how to talk about our everyday life. Now let us see what are the different sentences we use to talk about our everyday life. First, do you eat fruits? Yes, I eat fruits daily. Which fruits do you eat? I eat apples, bananas, and grapes. Don't you eat ice cream? Oh no, I love eating ice cream. Why don't you eat fruits? Well, I eat, but not daily. So these are the different kinds of sentences we use. And now we will see usually when you talk about our uh, everyday lives, our day begin with uh, you know like a routine works. Now we will see what you do every day. Like I wake up at 5:30 a.m. I go for morning walk and do yoga. I bring vegetables and fruits from the market. I drink booze and I go to school. This is how you can practice your daily routine. And now we will see there is one more activity. You have to see what your friend or brother or sister does every day. Like you know, Sony wakes up at 5:30 a.m. She begins her day with a morning walk. Then she takes a shower and gets dressed. Then she goes to office. And now there is one more task for you. There are different kinds of people: a salesperson, a teacher. a player and a college student now just look at the words and try to find out who are they and where does he or she go and what does she do and what does she like and now this is how you can practice well she is a teacher she goes to school every day she teaches children and she likes english very much and you can talk about a player in the same way or a college student in the same way or any sales person in the same way <coughs> now now let's listen to the several students what they do daily now let us first listen to sai i always get up early and i go to bed early too i am usually in bed by 10 pm i don't watch tv i read or listen to music I often go out in the evening with my friends or sometimes they come to my home and we spend the evening there. And now let us see what Rahul says. I have a friend in YZ. He is an engineering student. He is so busy. He is at hotel. He doesn't like staying at home. He goes out a lot. He often visits his friends. He goes to parties and parks. He watches films with his friends at weekends. He sometimes listens to music, and he usually goes to bed late at 11 p.m. or even late. And now let us see the activity of a salesperson. Hi friends, I'm Rohit. I'm a salesperson. I sell imported goods. I can speak English, Hindi, and Telugu well. I can impress customers with my talents. I am so talkative. I enjoy marketing. I don't have a car, but I have a bike. I'm not married. Usually, I love team work and work with my friends. I want to become a shop owner, and I have lot of work to do. Now, we will see what are the common expressions we use to talk about our everyday life. Well, I go to school every day. My father goes to office in the morning. We play games in the evening. We watch movies on Sundays. I never miss my English class. I always speak English with my friends. I chat with my friends when I am free. I like eating ice cream. I have many friends in YZ. And you now I have a friend in Bangalore. She has a car. I don't have a computer but she has a laptop and an LCD projector. I don't like Hindi films but she loves to watch Hindi films only. I like pop music but she doesn't like it. Do you play shuttle daily? What do you do every day? Don't you eat non-veg? Why don't you 
come to movie? Don't you have money? Does she go to beauty parlor every day or every week? When does she come from office? I love Cartoon Network. I hate TV serials. Children like stories. My friend gives money when I need. I'm so busy now. These are the different kinds of sentences which we use in our daily life. Now, we will uh, watch this conversation between two college students. Do you go to spoken English classes daily? No, I don't go there. Where do you go every day? I go to college. Do you practice English daily? Yes, I practice. How do you practice? I practice by speaking. To whom do you speak? I speak to my friends. Do they speak well? Not really, but they want to speak well. Do you think they are successful? No, they are not now, but they want to become good speakers. Where do they work? They work in a computer center. Do they work well? Yes, definitely they work well. Where does your brother work? He works in the bank. Does he speak well? Yes, he does. He speaks well. Well, then you can practice at home also. Yes, we do. We always speak English only. Good. Can I to join with you? Oh, come on dear. Let's speak English from today. If you watch this conversation, you can see what are the different kinds of sentences we talked earlier and all the sentences are used. And now, let us practice more for perfection. Here in this uh, simple present, there are two groups. If you keep on practicing with these two groups with a lot of words, then you can get more perfection. Like I, we, you, they, Sunil and Anil, or all the boys and all the girls, or my friends, or my brothers, you can use the subject plus V1 structure. You know, like I learn Hindi, I don't learn English. You can say, I play games, we don't play cricket. You know, I have money, but I don't have a car. This is how you can practice with group 1. And let's see in the group 2, you have to be a bit careful with this. When you use the same sentence with he or she, usually you have to use the structure plus subject plus V1 plus S or ES. This is one area where you have to take care about it. Like you know, she or he or Raja or my friend is followed by V1 plus S. Like she plays tennis but she doesn't play cricket. He goes to office, he doesn't go to park. Radha has a bike, but she doesn't have a car. And now we will see, uh, to have more perfection, let's practice in this way. Here is one task for you. Think 10 things that you do regularly and your friend doesn't do it. You know, like, I love music, but he hates it. I play volleyball, but he doesn't play volleyball. He likes cricket. Now, uh, you know, you can practice the same thing with the mini dialogues and I have this uh, successful technique for you. What all you have to do is, you begin with this SLO question and then you practice the sentence with the negative sentence, then WH question and positive sentence. And if it's possible, you can use a negative question also, later on. Like, you know, do you play tennis? Oh no, I don't play tennis. What do you play? Usually, I play cricket. One mini dialogue is over. Now, let us see. Does she eat chicken biryani? Oh no, she doesn't eat chicken biryani. What does she eat? I think she eats prawn. Do you have money? Oh no, I don't have money. What do you have then? I have my ATM card with me. Does she have a car? No, she doesn't have a car. What does she have? I think she has a scooty. So this is how you can practice uh, mini dialects for your perfection. And now here is one more dialect, the same mini dialect, but you can see in a meaningful way. Like you know, are you from YZ? No, I'm not from YZ. Where are you from? I am from Chirikakulam. Do you go to office every day? No, I don't go to office. 
When do you go daily? I go to college. Do you have a bike? No, I don't have a bike. What do you have? I have a bicycle. Don't you have a mobile? Oh no, I don't have. Why don't you buy it? It's so useful, right? Okay, thank you. I'll take uh, about your advice. Now, this is how you practice dialects. If you look at this dialect, you can see uh, like all the different kinds of sentences with I am, he is, we are, you are, they are, and I go, we go, you go, they go, and they don't go, and what I have, and you have, and they don't have. This is how you can practice the dialects. And now here is the last task for you. Complete the unfinished sentences based on the things you have learnt in this video. Like, I always speak English. You can say, I don't often watch TV. I am usually busy. Or you can say, I am usually very happy. Right? I never watch or I never hurt anyone. You can say, I am sometimes very very happy and I am sometimes very very sad. You know, I often uh, talk to my friends. My friends sometimes come to my home. My friends are always helpful. This is how you can continue your talking about everyday lives. Well, I hope that you have learned a lot and I am sure that you can practice more by using all the tips and hope this video is helpful so please do subscribe to your this Madhu's English for you and share with your friends and let us watch more videos in the next session until then have a nice time wish you all the best